Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the refrigerator door gasket in a tap-on refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a putty knife. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new refrigerator door gasket. The refrigerator door gasket provides the airtight seal preventing warm air from getting inside the compartment. A bad seal could cause a higher than normal temperature inside the compartment blocking of the interior airways, the door not to close completely, and build up moisture on the interior. If you are experiencing any of these problems, check the refrigerator door gasket and replace it if needed. To get to the part, we need to open the fresh foot door. Before removing the old gasket, I highly recommend that you will measure the new one if that's going to fit. Yep, that's uh, our gasket. So now we're going to use a uh, Phillips screwdriver and I'm going to peel this uh, up. And uh, here we have, we have a number of Phillips screws that hold the uh, gasket. So I'm going to unscrew them but don't take them out. And I'm gonna move here and we got a um, few more screws. Same procedure. We're not gonna take them out. Loosen up as far as it goes. And we're gonna down and uh, loosen up one more. There are a few more, but we're not going to touch them yet. So we're switching the sign, and uh, we're on the right side of the uh, gasket. Peel it off slightly. Expose that uh, screw in the, in the upper corner. And we're going to loosen this screw up. And going to the uh, next one. And uh, that one would be the last one for now. Next step, I would be using a putty knife, or you can use a flat blast screwdriver. And I'm going to separate the gasket from the door. And now we can actually pull out the old gasket. It will only go out halfway. Don't uh, peel it out completely. And we're going to install a new one on the top. All right, so I'm going to place uh, a new gasket on. And uh, so this edge that goes all around the gasket will fit between the door lining and the door. We're going to have to press it in. We're going to start with the corners and the rest will go in easily. Next, I'm going to install this uh, opposite side corner, same way. The edge goes uh, behind the lining. Do not pull the gasket real hard. You may break it. Be careful. Sometimes you need to use the uh, putty knife to help yourself install the gasket. And the top. And then the side go down, probably a foot, foot and a half. I kind of use two fingers to peel off the lining. And these two fingers used to press the gasket in. And right, make sure the corners are straight on both sides. I'm going to use the Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to peel off a little bit here to find the Phillips screw and I'm uh, going to tighten that. Make sure that the top is flat so you can put your finger on the top. And uh, slide 
this side and this side and uh, this screw on the side in the upper corner and I go down bring down and one more screw here again use your fingers to press the uh, gasket so it would be flat and this one just a little bit that's it then we switch the sides all right so I'm gonna find the, the upper screw and uh, tighten it and one more so we're gonna continue loosen up the screws the rest of the screws at the bottom half and in case if you wonder why I'm doing that why I'm not uh, taking all the screws out and putting the gaskets uh, at the same time uh, the answer is very simple if I loosen up all the screws and I may uh, move the lining and uh, in that case if I'll, I'll put a new gasket on the lining would not be exactly in the same position and that would be a big problem all right and let's uh, finish this gasket do not pull it down when you install it try to be neutral just install it this way perpendicular to the door don't stretch it and now we need to go down for the bottom corner and don't rush be careful make sure that uh, it's installed properly at the bottom because you can't see real well and I'll switch to this corner All right, make sure the gasket is straight and now we're gonna tighten the screws so next would be uh, closing the door and checking how the gasket is holding the air is it tight enough or we need to do adjustment so let's close the door open the freezer door and then we're going to check the gasket all right so what we are looking for is uh, this line where that the gasket meets the cabinet it shouldn't be any gaps it's very pretty good right uh, very straight right now here there's a little little uh, gap here but it's very easy to correct the problem it's going to be actually self-corrected because they there is a magnet strip inside probably just need to pull this slightly be careful do not break the gasket all right then we look at this side as you can see that the uh, line is pretty good only at the bottom we have a slight gap which is also not bad because it doesn't go through so I recommend to run the finger into this groove here press it in and slowly run it into the gasket go down you straighten it and stretching the gasket slightly and you can feel the bottom with your tip of the fingers and that that's good because uh, bottom and top usually are good all right so we're going to go to the opposite side so I'm going to close the freezer door out of the way and I'm going to check that uh, the gasket see there's a little uh, gap in but it's not actually the gap the gasket is inside slightly so what we do in this case I'm going to open the door I'm going to put the putty knife in in between the gasket and the cabinet and close the door see I'm going to pull out the gasket also what you can do actually it would be a very good idea you can put some petroleum jelly on the gasket from inside and then 
close the door, do the same thing uh, with the putty knife, and keep it closed as long as possible, maybe a few hours or so. It will help to shape up the gasket. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.